What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And this is a workout for seniors or anyone with limited mobility. This workout will require either a light pair of dumbbells or even water bottles, depending on your fitness level. Throughout today's workout, we will be providing both standing and seated variations, so you will want to have a chair handy. If you're ready to go, let's get moving. We're gonna begin with a warm up, and the purpose of this warm up is to get our heart rate up a little bit and increase our overall body temperature. I'm gonna be doing these moves from a standing position, and I'm gonna do them from my seated position here. Feel free to move back and forth between a seated or standing variation throughout today's routine and really make this workout your own. All right, our first move is gonna be from a upright position, shoulders are back, good posture. It's gonna be an upright row, pull up on those elbows, Flip those hands around, external rotation, and then we're going to press straight overhead and reach. Now reverse directions, back down. So it's one, pulling up in the elbows, two, flipping the hands back, three, reaching up high, four, starting to reverse, five, and six. Moving at a nice, slow, and controlled pace on this one. It's just our warm up. We're warming up those shoulders and arms on this one. It's also a great one to help improve your posture. You spend a lot of time in a seated position, whether driving, watching TV, or on your phone. It's a great one to help loosen you up and help you maintain an upright position. No weights needed for this one. Again, just our own body weight. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Do not forget to breathe throughout today's whole workout. It's gonna be so very important to focus on that breathing, keeping it nice and under control. We're doing this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next we're gonna move into a push-pull plus side-to-side -side steps. We're gonna push, step out to the side, and then pull back in as we bring that foot back in. Step out to the side and push and pull. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. If you're doing the standing variation, make sure to keep those knees nice and soft. You don't wanna lock out your legs. And same thing from the seated variation. And as you notice, I'm going out a little far with my step to the side, but just go as, as far as you can go, as far as your flexibility will allow you to step to the side. That's right. Fitness is not a one size fits all solution. So we encourage you to make this routine your own and make it work for you really emphasize both that push and the pull pressing out with those palms and then pulling back in squeezing your back muscles warming that back up as well this is a great compound move hitting multiple muscle groups at the same time you're going to notice that trend throughout today's workout it's all about efficiency getting as much in in a short period of time because you're busy you got other stuff to do so we're going to get this workout in as efficiently as we can. Making sure to breathe here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, excellent. All right, starting to get warmed up now. Mm -hmm. We're moving into a hamstring stretch plus arm circle. So it might take you a couple of reps to get used to this one. We're gonna put one leg out straight on that heel and at the same time, wrapping those arms around, stretching that hamstring, Coming back up and we reach the top, switch legs. Creating a big old circle, stretching out your shoulders as well as your hamstrings. And depending on your flexibility, even on the seated one, you may not have to go that far to really feel the stretch in your hamstring. That's right, it doesn't take a lot, especially with that leg out straight. Same thing on the standing variation. Moving at a nice, slow and controlled pace, using those hips as a hinge, 
And by doing so, we're engaging our glutes, hamstrings, lower back, all stretching on this one. Get nice and controlled. This is still the warm up. Yes, our heart rate's getting up. Be sure to work at your own pace. Don't feel the need to try to keep up with our warm up pace here. That's right. Making it your own. Ooh, I'm feeling a good stretch of my hamstrings on this one. Feel my workout from yesterday. All right, we're doing this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we have one last move here in the warm up. We're going to do a rotation movement. It's put those hands on your head if you're standing, a slight bend in your knees and hips. Now we're going to go side to side twist, an upright twist. On this one, taking it to a max of about 180 degrees side to side, but don't feel the need to necessarily get that full rotation. If you're just doing a smaller twist side to side and that's what your flexibility allows today, that's all right too. Just focus on twisting at your core, engaging those abs, and at the same time, we're gaining some spinal mobility, some, some thoracic spine mobility along the way. Nice and controlled. Again, don't go too fast on this one. Not trying to get dizzy. No, definitely not. Good point. Just controlled. And of course, we are remembering to breathe. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake those arms loose. All right. So first one here in the official workout, we're going to get our heart rates up. We're going to do a typewriter. So I'm going to do the standing variation. Claudia's doing the seated. So with our arms in a running motion, I'm going to go side to side, hot feet. And I'm doing the seated one, of course, where I'm doing side to side, hot feet. And I'm just moving my feet from side to side and just do as much as your hip mobility will allow you to move those feet side to side. So I'm just hot feet, staying light and on the balls of my feet, moving laterally, not taking big steps, just small little steps, keeping my feet about shoulder width apart, not crossing over my feet or letting them bump into one another. And your typewriter may be moving faster or slower or than slower. ours. Or slower, yep. And that's okay. Again, make it your own. You gotta push yourself. No one else is gonna do it for you. And even if you don't, if you can't move your legs from side to side, just be here if that's all you have. Yep, and that's totally okay too. But just keep moving here. Only doing this one once today. Just get through this first set here. You got it. We're doing this one for 10 more seconds. Come on, keep it going. You're doing great. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, feeling loose now. We're gonna need those hand weights for this next one. Do a little combo move. I'm using light dumbbells and Claudia is gonna use her water bottles. So for this one, Claudia is scooted up to the front of her chair, so make sure at the front of that chair. We're gonna do a curl plus low kick. So on each repetition, you're starting with those dumbbells at your side. And then we're curling those pinkies in as we curl up top and performing a low kick. So you don't want to feel the need to get those kicks very high. Keep a soft knee and that in both knees throughout, not hyperextending either leg. Good posture. And of course, we are remembering to breathe. This one's working your biceps, your forearms, your legs, and even your core. And on that kick, we really want to control it, not get a crazy kick. And by doing so, we're actually also working our stabilizers and working on our balance. Even if you're doing the seated version, it's still working your stabilizers. Excellent. And as today's workout moves on and it gets harder, it's going to be so important for you to remember what it is that motivates you, what it is that brought you here today to begin with, why you click that play button. Hold on to it. Whether you're trying to get more fit, lose weight, just get better at your daily activities, whatever it may be, just remember why you're here. It's going to help you get through. You got this one for 10 more seconds. Good job. Moving at your own pace here. 
for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. All right, we're gonna let out some stress with the next one. We're gonna do some straight punches. Bring those hands to your chin, slight bend in your knees if you're standing up. We're gonna alternate right and left punches. So we're getting a full extension on that arm. And we're pointing with our thumb. When you punch, think about pointing and twisting with that thumb. And then bring that hand all the way back to your chin on every punch. Nice and controlled on every repetition. And if throughout today's routine, you, let's say you start with the hand weights or the water bottles, and it's just getting too tough, feel free to also set them down. A lot of these moves, well, all of these moves are still effective with just your own body weight. Again, making it your own, doing what you have to do to keep moving and getting through to the end. You got it, doing great. Remember, it doesn't matter how slow you're moving, you're still lapping everybody on the couch. Come on guys, you're here, let's hear it. Getting a little better every repetition. Let's go Hasfit Tribe, let's go, we're in it together. This one's working your shoulders, your triceps, your chest, and your abs all at the same time. Not forgetting to breathe. Let's go 10 more seconds on this upper body move. Excellent. Breathing in and breathing out for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Okay, we can set our hand weights down for the next one. I'm gonna actually grab my chair for this one where Claudia's staying in her seated position. I'm gonna do a split squat and Claudia is gonna do a one leg press. So in a split position, I'm using my chair for balance. If you don't need it, you don't have to use it, but I suggest you have it ready to go. I'm gonna drop my back knee straight down and I'm gonna come back up. And for the seated variation, I'm actually gonna bring my rear end towards the uh, edge of my chair and I'm gonna lean back at about a 45 degree angle and I'm just going to bring my knee into my chest and press out and bring it back in and back out. And if you can't get it quite uh, to the horizontal, uh, as horizontal as I'm getting here, you can of course leave your leg down here and press out here. Making it your own. If you're doing this split squat variation, dropping straight down and we're aiming to get both knees at a 90, but if that doesn't happen and it's uh, a, a shallow or not quite as deep split squat, that's okay too. And again, using this chair if you need to for balance. And you start with one move and you wanna try the other one, that's great too. We're gonna do equal time on both sides here. So we got just 10 more seconds on this side and then we're gonna switch it up. And you start to feel that burn, that lactic acid kicking in. You gotta remember you're stronger than that burn. Pushing past it. For three, two, one, zero. Okay, go ahead and switch sides now. If you have to do a little change of setup, I'm gonna change my chair here. And if you're doing the seated variation, just move it right into the next leg. Excellent. One rep right into the next. And I'm dropping that back knee straight down. And if you are doing the seated, also make sure you're engaging those abs to bring that knee into your chest. Good, good posture. Core stays tight on both moves. Definitely, I am leaning back at a 45 degree angle, but I'm definitely keeping my core engaged throughout the entire movement. That's it, not relaxing that core. It's gonna help you stay stabilized, as well as just working your abs along the way. We talked a lot about the efficiency at the beginning, hitting multiple muscle groups, at the same time, we're certainly doing that on this one. All right, just 10 more seconds, everybody. Come on, hang tough, hang tough. We're almost there. We're in it together here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice work. Okay, we are gonna need your hand weights for the next one. I'm not using my chair for this next one. Claudia's gonna remain seated. Mm -hmm. Doing a another compound move. So I'm gonna start with my feet shoulder width apart. My arms are up at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna start with a chest squeeze. So we're gonna bring those elbows together, squeeze your chest, bring them back out, pull apart. And now at the same time, I'm gonna press up and come up onto the balls of my feet and do a calf raise. Back down, repeat, chest squeeze, back, press, 
Calf race. Good. And if at any point in time your weights are feeling like they're too much, drop them. That's it. You can do, totally do this one with just your arms. And you're still going to feel it. I promise you. It doesn't take much for those shoulders to start feeling some burn. No, it does not. And just remember, you keep coming back, repeating this workout. And you'll get a little bit better every time. Good. Really focus on form on this one. When you're coming up onto the balls of your feet, staying under control, using those calf muscles, not just about momentum, but really feel those calf muscles kicking in. Excellent. Feel the body working together on this one, making these moves happen. There it is, getting stronger with every repetition. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to your goals. We got this one for just five. Four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Ooh. All right, next on the list is gonna be a good morning. We're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart, our elbows bent at a 90 degree angle, and we're holding our weights at our sides. This one's for our posterior chain. We both have a bend in our knees, and now we're gonna use our hips as a hinge, bending over at our waist, keeping our back straight, pushing our hips back behind us, and then as we stand up, straightening up and I'm squeezing my glutes. And for the seated variation, you wanna make sure that your bum is on the edge of the seat uh, for this particular movement. That way you get a nice, good hinge, keeping your head in line with your spine, and right back up. And if your range of motion for this one is right here, then that's okay. I want you to be comfortable with the movement. That's right, you might not be able to quite go down as far as we are, but we encourage you to make it your own. And as you're coming down, you're really, even both the standing and the seated variations, you're really concentrating on putting that weight back in your hips, almost like you're trying to touch your backside to the wall behind you. And that's gonna help to engage your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, you know, so often in our day-to-day -day life, we have to bend over, pick stuff up. And usually we don't think twice about it, but that is actually a challenging movement for our body. We want to be prepared when the time arises. That's right. We don't. That's how people throw their backs out, right? That's it. First time they've been over to pick something up in a week and boom, all of a sudden their back was like, what the heck? Just, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> so we want to make sure you're ready. Keeping good posture. And as Claudia said, you're keeping your head in line with your spine. So that means you're not looking down like this. And you're not looking at us on the TV screen. <laughs> That's right. But keep that head in line with your spine. Nice and controlled. Not a race on this one. Feel that stretch in your backside as you come down and up. Excellent. We're doing this one for just 10 more seconds. So let's make it count. Again, squeeze in those glutes up at the top for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, this time we're gonna focus on your upper back muscles. Mm -hmm. So with our feet shoulder width apart, we're both gonna bend over on a 45 degree angle. And notice my bum is still on the edge of the chair here. With our palms facing us to start. Now, as we row and pull, we're gonna twist our hands till they're facing forward and pull back on those elbows and then reverse directions. So pulling back on those elbows like we have a string attached to those elbows and somebody's pulling back on that string. So you're not just pulling back on the hands, but instead focus pulling it back on those elbows. And that'll make sure you're engaging the correct muscles, really getting those back muscles to fire. Squeeze your back up at the top. Again, nice and controlled on this one. Want to get those muscles to engage. We're not trying to use a bunch of momentum, but instead focusing on time under tension with those muscles. And again, just to emphasize, if the weights that you have in your hand are too heavy, feel free to drop them and do the body weight version where you're just pulling back on those elbows. And if they're too light, feel free to up the weight a little bit and challenge yourself. Again, just make it your own. Keep your back straight on this one. Core is engaged. Good posture. Again, your head is in line with your spine. And if you're doing the standing variation, don't be surprised if your legs start to burn on this one as well. Well, even on the seated one, I can feel it. Right, so. <laughs> here we go. So it's a little extra credit. It's not only working your back. That's all right. Again, these are functional movements, meaning we're not just working the pretty muscles, but working the muscles that you are going to work in your day-to-day -day life. 
to pre better prepare you for those daily activities. We have just 10 more seconds on this one. Keep it up, we're almost there. Excellent, keep breathing. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Woo. Excellent work, nice work, Claudia. Nice work. All right, now we're gonna move into a cool down. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of this cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down slowly and under control. And at the same time, we're gonna gain some added flexibility and mobility. First move we're gonna do is a waterfall. So we're gonna start with our one palm facing up, elbows into our side. We're gonna pull back on those fingers. Gently. Gently, and at the same time, bring that elbow up and pull them back on those fingers. You can feel it stretch all throughout your, your bicep, forearm, wrist, hand, all getting a great stretch on this one. And we're just holding and breathing. Again, all the work is done today. This is the fun part, this is the easy part. Just a static stretch and hold for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent, shake it loose and let's do the opposite side. Next, again, start with that palm up and slowly bring it down at the same time. Bring that elbow up and feel that stretch. Now you might feel this stretch more in your wrist, or in your bicep, or in your forearm. Everybody's gonna feel it more in a different place and that's okay, it just means you're probably a little more tight in that area. We all have our strengths and our weaknesses. Depending on what your day-to-day -day activities are, Very right? Very true. It's gonna be very dependent on you know, how you're spending your, your day, whether you're you know, in front of a computer or you're driving or Holding reading child, books, yeah. crocheting, mm -hmm. whatever that may be. Good, and let's just hold this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, shaking it loose. We're moving into one of my favorite stretches to improve your posture, which is gonna be a bent arm chest opener. So let's go ahead and start with our arms up and at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna squeeze our chest and then we're gonna open and pull back on those elbows like somebody's pulling back on those elbows. Again, come back, squeeze your chest and then open. Keeping good posture throughout. Shoulders remain back. Trying our best to bring our, our arms together. You might only be to here and that's as far as you have. That's all right, we're working both ends of the stretch. Stretching our back as well as our chest and shoulders. Excellent, nice and under control. This is a, well, an active or a dynamic stretch. Pulling back on those elbows. Good. Remembering to breathe. And on this last one, we're gonna pull apart and then we're just gonna hold right here and turn it into a static stretch. So again, act like somebody's pulling you apart and back from those arms and you're feeling that stretch. Keeping good posture, we don't wanna lean back while we're doing it. Just staying straight up and down. And it might be easier for you to do some of these stretches seated from a seated position. Yeah, and that, and please do so if that is the case. I'm actually gonna take a seat, uh, seat here for one of the next ones. Let's do this one for three, two, one, zero, and relax. So Ooh. yes, Claudia called that I am taking my seat here for the next one. We're gonna do a back reach stretch mm -hmm. and this one's just a little easier for balance purposes to do from a seated position you don't Completely. gain you don't gain a whole lot from mm -hmm. doing this one standing so we are going to do this one seated and so making sure we're on that front of our chair and we're going to do a big sw up and over swim like butterfly move and then we're going to reach stretching our back bending over like somebody's uh, like we're reaching to touch and hold on to something or like somebody's grabbing our hands and they're pulling us and just feel that open up your back, your lats, which is your lats or your side back muscles here. Keeping a good stretch and just hold, just a static stretch. Just keep reaching and reaching and reaching. Reaching a little further for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ah, good. Oh. All right, let's stretch out that lower body neck. So let's get both legs out straight and we're gonna be on our heels. And our first move we're gonna do is we're gonna bring those toes back and that's gonna really engage our calf muscles. Trying our best to keep our legs straight and not allow our knees to bend. Now with our hands on our hips, we're gonna bend over, 
a little too far on my chair. We're gonna bend over using our hips as a hinge, keeping our back straight. Now there's not a lot of range of motion for this one. Definitely not. But just keeping those toes pulled back, you're gonna feel it in your, your calves, your hamstrings, your glutes. Making sure not to fall out of your chair on this one. You scoot yes. back if you need to. And again, not a not a big stretch uh, as far as how much you're moving, but you can really feel it in your backside. Just focusing on bending over at those hips as a hinge. Breathing, pulling back on those toes too. Make sure we get those calves. They so often get so tight. For five, four, three, two, one, zero, and coming on up. All right, we're gonna one last do one last stretch, stretching out our quadriceps. So for this one, I'm gonna ask that you scoot to one side of your chair. So with one leg, we got a nice solid base here. And we're gonna throw our other foot. If you need to, you can use your hand to pull it back. If not, you can do it on your own. We're pulling that foot back as far as you feel comfortable. So that might be to only right here, mm -hmm. or you might be able to really get it back. Now we're gonna lean back just as much as you feel comfortable and feeling a stretch in that hip flexor in that quadricep. Now in all these static stretches, we're trying to get to about 85, 90% of what you're capable of. We wanna feel a good stretch, but at the same time, we don't wanna induce any pain. We're not trying to hurt yourself here. Good. And again, just breathe. Take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit, but you know that's not the case just as well as we do. Holding this one for three, two, one, zero. Come on up slowly. All right, let's switch sides and let's finish this last one. Getting that foot back, keeping good posture, good base in that front lead leg and leaning back until you feel an adequate stretch. Nice and under control. And it's totally common to have one side be tighter or mm -hmm. looser than the other. So don't let that worry you if one side is much tighter than the other. It's also a great one to loosen up those knees if you have any, having any knee trouble. Just hold and breathe slowly here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. <laughs> you made it. Good work. Job well done. Thank you so much for joining us and working out with us today. Please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free by donating to our Patreon page. You can also download our app or you can pick up one of our shirts or my new book, Stay Fit for Life, that includes a lot of exercises that we use today. Also, if you enjoyed this workout routine, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of working out with you today. It has been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.